Indy Mogul. Russell Crowe fights for the little people instead of throwing cell phones at them. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Robin Hood. has never been known to back down from a fight. He even likes to start them. And in 2005, he started a fight that took on a life of its own. Upset about a problem with the phones in his hotel, Crow chucked his cell phone at a concierge, cutting the man's face. Crow was arrested and settled out of court with the concierge, but he never quite settled with audiences, and Crow's box office numbers derailed. In fact, they have yet to come back. However, throughout all of this, Ridley Scott has stuck by him often to his own detriment. Scott has made all of his last three films with Crow, A Good Year and Body of Lies were flops, while American Gangster thankfully rode Denzel Washington's Training Day coattails. Now Scott and Crow are teaming up again with what looks to be their best shot at recapturing their gladiator magic. It hasn't been easy though. Robin Hood started out as Nottingham, a film which told the story sympathetically from the Sheriff of Nottingham's point of view. And since nobody can top Alan Rickman, Crow and Scott decided topping Kevin Costner was a safer bet. Now the movie is being billed as the most realistic Robin Hood yet. But the most iconic? Errol Flynn has been the quintessential outlaw in tights for over 70 years. Although, I don't think they even had invented tights in the 15th century. Scott and Crow might be onto something with this realism angle. Do you think that Robin Hood can hope to compete with the Iron Man 2s of the summer? I think so. It was a great picture. I found it interesting, but maybe sometimes it, at times confusing. It's interesting to watch. It's kind of long, so if you get past that, you'll be fine. The movie was good. They, make, they need to make a part two to this one. Oh, really? Oh, you yeah. liked it enough? To I liked it. It was good. Yeah, it was good. So you're walking out of Robin Hood. Why? Yes. Well, it's my first day off in a couple of weeks, and it's making me tired. Okay because it's just very up close things and fast action and nothing's really happening. Oh no. You think it's as good as Gladiator? Um, maybe not, maybe not. Gladiator was lightning in a bottle, but they, um, they did a very good attempt. I kind of like Gladiator better though. But... Is this close? It's close, real close. Was it like, as good as Gladiator, because it's the same No, Gladiator is better, <laughs> but you know, everybody loves Gladiator. But this is good, though. Russell Crowe is Russell Crowe. So you guys like Robin Hood? You think Russell Crowe did a good job? Yeah, I think he did a great job. job. What did you think of Kate Blanchett as Maid Marian? I think she's she was perfect for the part. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, she excellent. fits right in on medieval times. So. What I did like about it is that she had people that who can act, opposed to a lot of movies nowadays where people just don't really have to do nothing, they just show oh. up. I'd like to thank, um, you know, Russell Crowe and, and Kate Blanchett for being in Robin Hood, and thank you very much. Nice try. That's it, that's it, good, you know. Were you familiar with the story of Robin Hood before seeing this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You stole from the um, from rich the... and gave to the um, pity and stuff like that, the yeah. poor. Yeah, do you think, you still, was he still doing that in the movie? Yeah, he was doing yeah. that. You know, they really changed the classic a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, I the did. classic story. Right. It, it, was it a good idea to mess with the legend? Oh, I think they did a good job of doing that. They told the story differently, and it was, I think it was a good spin. It goes back to why he became, became the outlaw. Do you think it was a good Sherlock change? Park. Yeah, I did. I did. It was hmm. interesting. So a lot of people have played Robin Hood. A lot of right, actors. Right, right. To, who, to you, who well, is um, the best Robin Hood? I don't know. Well, the other one was Kevin Costner, wasn't it? Yep, right? Yeah. Errol Flynn. <laughs> <laughs> well, Errol Flynn's Errol Flynn. Flynn, Connery, Crow, Aloise, then Costner. I don't know. Maybe not Kevin Costner. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least at least Russell Crowe beat him, right? Well, they're, they're a big, they're a tie. They can't play like Russell Crowe. Oh, though. he's your he's your Robin Hood. He's my Robin Hood. Yeah. Nice. What do you guys give it on a one to ten? I'll give it a not and a half. Not and a half. Nine and a half. I'll give it a ten, honestly. For the parts that you did see, what would you give it on a one to ten? A big old five. 
Eight and a half, maybe nine. A nine. I'd give it an eight. Probably an eight. So it might not be a bullseye for Russell Crowe, but his aim is improving as audiences give Robin Hood an 8.5. And don't forget that Robin Hood is the focus of this week's One Sentence Review Challenge. If you've seen the movie, leave your 1 to 10 rating below as well as your One Sentence Review. Whoever writes the best one gets a free pair of AMC movie tickets, and I'll announce the winner this Sunday on my Facebook page. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25, and you've just gone beyond the trailer.